My name is Wizard Elric. I look after the forest and its balance between light and darkness. I protect animals overnight and talk to wood spirits. And I bring the magic of peacefulness to the forest which the man values so much. However, I got only such a power you can give me. You are the one who must help me to look after our forest so my magical power never dies. Hi guys, uh, I'm Vladimir from Homewood Spirit and I really hope you didn't get scared from my uh, recite attempt. My friend, she wrote for me these sentences when she saw this, um, this wizard and because I really like them, uh, I decided to share them with you. Uh, she really thinks that uh, this kind of uh, character is exactly the wizard who sits in front of uh, his porch in his wooden house and he's the forest guardian. So if you wanna know how to carve him, just stick around. It's getting quite dark, so I'm going back to the workshop. Um, I will need a pencil, sharp whittling knife and some protection against that blade and a little block of wood. This one is uh, European lime. In America, people call it basswood. And uh, this particular piece is 125 mil long. So it's about five inches. And it was cut out from uh, the block, which was 30 mil by 30 mil. It was cut out diag diagonally like this. So 30 mil is something around one inch and a quarter I believe so how I start I start with dividing it into the thirds uh, I already have my marks over here but I used the I used the ruler before uh, like that I just mark it here and uh, let's say this will be the bottom uh, so that will be the b beard, uh, the nose and the eyes and this section is for his head. So this is going to be brim and the bottom of the nose. I divide these marks in a half at the bottom and uh, at the top in a half as well but also in a quarters like this. Again, you can use a ruler if you're not unsure, if you're not unsure. Uh, if, you, if you want, you can eye it like this. So this is the bottom. I start with biting in here to, uh, to carve out the nose. So what I do, I do stop cuts. And I carve towards those cuts until I will get to this to this line over here just like that and I use my thumb for pushing okay so you can see it here as I have uh, when I have this notch I start to split the wood like that it's really good to have straight grain timber comes comes in handy pretty much every time so it's gone and uh, I will get rid of this little hump over here so just a few cuts like that and I make sure it's quite rounded okay like like this that's pretty much enough right so then I find the half between between the brim and the bottom of the nose so let's say it's somewhere here and I d I start to get rid of this you can go like that if you want to 
as long as no one is in front of you he won't be very happy but it's it's not a wrong move it's actually sometimes it's way more faster than just pushing with the with the thumb like that there is less control in this move but it's uh, for example here I could do it like that and it's way more faster so not a wrong move that's for sure um, but less control so uh, I will make it rounded over here so for example now I can use it actually that move see that if I do it just with the thumb this move okay I need to go from the bottom to the top okay I exactly know where I'm carving but uh, it's way, where's way more slower okay so just like that see this it's kind of rounded and I have the nose like this so when I'm in this in this stage uh, there's a pattern which you can download below the video um, I have already remarked uh, the the outline of the head and of the of the face like this so just um, go down below and uh, download it print it out uh, on the a4 uh, paper um, it's exactly the dimension for this for this block of wood okay so we won't need this at the moment and when I'm in this stage um, I start to outline it so again what I like to do is that I use the tip of the knife and I bite in bite in like that for outlining okay when I get into that corner I grab this and get rid of this part and with the paring cut I get rid of the rest over here just like that quite quick same in here I start somewhere above the the brim just like that going in and now I carve right around my line right along the line again I got this little notch over here and I start with splitting the rest okay like that this little hump over here just get rid of it with a small shaving like this and outline the rest with the push cuts like that okay so that's the first half same in here when we have this outlined shape uh, just go back to the pattern and as you can see uh, I have uh, created also this side view which will help me to understand where uh, where should I mark for example the, the beard so I put it in here and mark it like that and from the bottom of the nose to here is sort of like a curved line okay so I mark it bottom of the nose I look look at the side view and I do this this uh, line over here like that um, I can also see that the brim uh, the brim is this is the top of the brim but it goes f about here somewhere and the nose has this shape goes to about here 
So I just mark it like that. And um, if I have a look at the, the head, it goes this way. So this is about a half from the third. So from somewhere here, I go to, according to the pattern, somewhere there. So I mark it. And this line is quite okay. Uh, it will go towards, towards the brim like that. Okay, so when I mark this side, um, I will start to round the beard first. So it goes down there. like this and I want to have it rounded okay just like that like that it's rounded it's good um, Let's do the brim now over here. Uh, so again, I'll start biting in with the tip of my knife somewhere here above the brim, just two mil above the brim. And I will go all the way along, make that notch again and make it deeper. So just like this and also I can start carving from the top of the head towards my notch just like that and like that and like this okay will create this little notch and I can start from this corner to make that brim pointy Just like that and cut this and cut that cut in here And over here. Okay. There we go. Can get rid of the back part. As I marked it, it's gonna look like this somehow. Just with the easy push cuts can make it into the tip a little bit more and uh, go and make it a bit more rounded like that it can be a little bit tricky here because the grain goes uh, like a straight so to be a little bit careful here which way I go with my knife this is the division point so if I go here it was possible but in here it starts to split so I need to change direction and go up to here to make it rounded okay same in here just go slower and it's gonna look good like this okay so like that and now uh start with the brim on the other side same thing just 
Biden all the way along. I start two mil below the line because when I do this uh, these push cuts towards uh, I sometimes end up by dipping my knife into this wood so when, when I start two mil below then I get rid of this wood again and I will have nice clean clean cut below the brim like that okay so in this case I start couple mil below the line just to achieve some nice cut like like over here see okay now when I'm in that depth I want to be I start to follow this line because that's the line of my nose see I'm ending with this blade in the timber over here I don't have to worry about it now because it's gonna go away soon Make it nice rounded over here. Just like that. And start to tidy up the bottom of the brim. Okay, like this. Like that, like this, and just like that. <laughs> nice. Okay, that's the hat. Um also here as you can see the head has these uh, these 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 marks uh, I I have them here in the in the pattern also so just just have a look at the pattern and um, we will do these little V cuts in in it just one in here And in there like that. And then there are two over here. One over there. Just like this. And now here I go a little bit deeper and all the way around in kind of like a curved shape. I don't go just straight. I go a bit curved. I'll start in here. Okay. Just like this. And these little ones at the bottom. Just with a few cuts. Add them over here okay and also when you notice over here uh, it's it's sort of like a the cut goes the cut goes this way as well from this edge to that to that in inner corner over here so I do it as well over here just to show you like that like that it will create a little bit better look as 
See that? Same in here. <laughs> and same in here. Okay. The head is ready. Before we dive into those little details, uh, I would like to talk about designing and uh, inspiration. Someone asked me, he's completely lost while designing, so I was thinking that I will share the process of uh, how I do it. So I use uh, books. I quite like this book. It's called The Secret of a Human Face. And from this book, I've chosen for this wizard Kind of like a, I was imagining, imagining that he's got a long nose and with kind of this shape. So I was searching through all the noses and I've chose, uh, chosen this one for him. Uh, there are plenty of other drawings of uh, faces like this. Uh, they are put into extremes, so I quite like them. I can find all these little details in it and uh, use them in um, in what am I currently working on. This is uh, Anatomy for Artists. Uh, also, these books are great for inspiration. They will give you uh, some facial expressions, uh, the measurements, uh, the dimensions uh, of how how many heads fit in the body, or that one eye is uh, like the width of the face is five eyes like this. So these kind of things will give you. And uh, for example, here I have found these little wrinkles. Uh, around the around the eyes, so I use them on on uh, on my wizard over here, and then I was searching for some pictures online for uh, some uh, bearded man, and I did some some drawing. I don't know how to draw, but I do what I can, and also. One uh, good source of inspiration is uh, that I type into Google the word cartoon and uh, for example I type cartoon eyes or cartoon uh, noses and it will give me all sorts of pictures like that and all I need to do is just choose. Then I grab all these things together, all these uh, parts together and uh, the most important part is to make a clay model for me because uh, then I play with the parts until they kind of like click together for me and uh, until the moment I like I like them and yeah this is uh, this is how to do it this helps me to uh, understand the shape while I'm carving it so I think it's a really important part of the process for me. So maybe something like this. Okay, I want to show you what I've done here. I just marked the center line and about two or three mil out of the center line. I grabbed this point and I draw, drew a line to this corner here, which was somewhere over here on this side. And now I'm going to cut out this bit on this side. I also grabbed that pattern and I marked this, uh, this shape of the nose, um, which is in the pattern. And now I start to carve it out. So again, just small one first, small wedge, just like this. And now, bigger one, deeper one, to this point here, and get rid of it, just like that, okay, a little bit deeper here, so I match this surface, and uh, the next bit was this nose. 
so again cut by cut first little triangle and then I can take the rest okay just like this tidy it up match these two surfaces like that and here with this part I just bite in with my tip of the knife I don't go right to the bottom of the surface uh, because that surface will be visible so I don't wanna cut it with the tip of my knife and now I just go straight down and from here along the line straight down and I take it out just like that and round the rest over here gently remember that's our finished surface so we don't want to cut it out too much then I have a look at the nose from here um, in the drawings it goes a little bit more down like this and I shape it get rid of these sharp corners uh, also get rid of the the, the, the the marks the pencil marks just like that the nose is more triangular shape so I cut it uh, I cut it like that and tidy it up a bit and there is a uh, there is this little this little bit of the nose just like that going in something like that okay it's in the drawing as well so just like this and of course it's not that square so I'll make it more rounded just like that around the tip of the nose these sharp corners I don't really like Okay, so there's the nose. Uh, the next part is that I mark the eyes. I'll mark one side. So I'll show you one side and then you will do the rest on the other side. Okay, so it goes from here and then this goes from there like this and just grab a tip of your knife and go right through it not that deep about two mil just like that carve this just be careful that you don't hit your nose with the blade and Take it out. And here, same one. And two. Just like this. Tidy up those little shavings if needed. 
and from from about here just take these two bits okay when it needs some tidying it up just stick your knife in it and and clean it okay it's quite hard to 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 make it super precise and uh, there is this um, the eyeball so it will be around here that's pretty much same thing just like that with the v-cut and like that <laughs> okay Um, the, to make it more rounded, you just take out these corners, one, and in here as well, cut in, just like that, so the eyeball is more rounded. And then I add just this little bit over here this little wrinkle and that's the eye done uh, then I do this uh, this uh, cheek so I just do a pre-cut cut one in here one in there and then with sort of like a rounded rounded uh, cuts I meet in the bottom of the cut like that like that and like that tidy tidy it up like this and that's about it when the eyes and the cheeks are ready we can move on to the beard. Uh, I have marked it already according to that uh, pattern. And it's the simple, simple V cut, just like that. And like that. Okay, um, just go a bit deeper. like this and over here again just make sure you don't cut into the nose so lift it up a little bit cut along over here and make it pronounced by getting rid of this material over here same over here just follow the line what I'm trying to do as well I'm trying to cut out the pencil mark so I don't need to use my rubber and something like that okay so Tie the little chippies out and we get rid of this sharp corner. Make sure that you don't dip with the tip of the knife in the beard so it won't create some extra, extra slices from the side in the beard. Okay, and this bit over here. Just like that. And take it out. OK, 
okay and the same just get rid of this sharp corner um let's tidy this up a little bit like this and we can mark the mouth so it's good it's when it's a little bit smiley so the corners go up just like that cut in here cut over here and then just Get rid of it. Okay. Tidy it up a little bit in there. And that's pretty much it. And now we can move on to the lower beard. So what I do here is that I just do simple V cuts like that. Like that. Like this. And like this and then I cut it out just like that try to do it with one cut but obviously it doesn't want to just like that and over here I have my, I have done also a little beard like that okay just cut them all like this and go from the top like that see that and there he is uh, one last little bit over here I just separate these two these two beards just just with this little little cut okay there we are and then just painting <laughs> up to you there was a wizard uh, now just do a little bit of painting uh, what I've done here is that I've used some acrylics over here some uh, blue and I toned it with the black color into this uh, dark blue on the rim and on the other hand I used white wa white color combined with that blue to make this transitional look from dark to the to the white because I quite like the look of the timber I left the left the rest of the face unpainted and uh, I quite like it like like it is at the moment so uh, linseed oil or tongue oil and I know I shouldn't say it but uh, whatever oil you have in the kitchen you can use just remember they go rancid sometimes and um, not a proper technique just linseed and tongue oil they are quite good for this job so yeah that was the wizard 
thank you for watching and good luck with it just remember it's uh it's not hard it's quite easy you have the pattern you have uh, the step-by-step -step video i uh, should be able to make it so enjoy and i'll see you next time